Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Uh, it's Monday evening, it's time for a beer review and this is kind of like a review and a bit of a comparison. Now, the beer that I'm going to be comparing it with, I have reviewed already. Uh, but the actual one that I'm going to properly review, if you like, is one that I saw in Lidl the other day and I picked both of these beers up from Lidl. As soon as I seen them, I thought I've got to do this. I've got to review the one and I've got to do a comparison. And we are looking at one of Lidl's, or Lidl own brand one, and it's from Hatherwood. And this is their Shark Bay Amber Ale. I don't know if you can see that. Apologies for the light. Shark Bay Amber Ale. It's coming in at 4.3% in a 500ml bottle. I'm sure you can guess what it is supposed to be. Uh, it was £1.29. I kind of like the label, but it is a little bit cheesy. There's the old crown. And the beer it is copying, it's another one of the little copy beers, if you like, is Doombar from Sharks. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to crack open the Shark Bay first. We're going to do a review of that. And then I'm going to crack this one open and we're going to compare it. I mean, there we go. Look wise, they look exactly the bloody same. Uh, we're going to have exactly the same style glass as well. So I'm going to stop waffling and we shall get the bottle opener. And we will get this Hatherwood Shark Bay Amber Ale cracked open. Both 500 mil, both 4.3%. So let's get going. Phew, fucking skunky. Fucking that stinks, man. Jesus, that is stink. I'm probably going to get the same from the other one as well. Anyway. There's a funny kind of swirl of minimal carbonation going up in there. Uh, it's amber. It's a very, well, not deep amber, but it is pretty, yeah. It's deep amber, caramel, that sort of colour. Uh, just about a finger of compact, slightly off-white head. It looks like a doom bar. Uh, Jesus Christ, it stinks, though. It really does smell. So let's dive in on the nose and see if it gets any better. Yeah, some of that skunkiness has sort of risen and gone, but it is slightly there in the background. Yeah, still still there quite a bit. When you give it a swirl, you do get a nice sort of note of caramel, sort of toffee thing going on. Malty, grainy. If you keep swirling it, you're all right. You don't get that skunkiness, but if you stop swirling it, you end up with that horrible smell. But yeah, malty, a little bit of caramel, sort of toffee sort of note. It's got that green sort of thing going on and it's got that little bit of skunkiness. So uh, let's chuck a little bit more in there. Top her up and dive in on Hatherwood Shark Bay Amber Ale. Cheers. Go in again. very light in the mouth. I'll be surprised if when I do the comparison uh, the Doom Bar's this light but I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've had it. Uh, very light in the mouth. It doesn't taste watery but it's got the body of water. Uh, ooh. It's quite well carbonated. It's quite busy in the mouth and I think that's because the body is so light. Going again, struggling with this. I got this taste that keeps putting me off everything else. It's not bad. The mouth feels not bad. It's reasonably smooth considering that it is light in body and well carbonated. On the taste, there is a horrid, absolute horrid taste on the back end and that's what was putting me off that's why I had to keep going in for me malty a little bit sweet 
maybe a sort of caramel note in there. The back end of it is awful. I'm getting a really nasty, really nasty back end sort of taste to it. And it is genuinely, the back end of it is, ew, vile, really. 4.3%. To be honest, if someone told you that was 3.8%, Ooh, that's horrid, that bit on the back end is vile. If somebody told you that was 3.8%, you'd believe them because it's so light. Uh, and it drinks like water. It genuinely drinks like water. All right, yeah, it doesn't feel watery. Some beers, you get that watery taste. But is it is a, as light as water. And that taste on the back end is bloody horrible. Ooh. Right. Would I recommend picking that up? No. 129, 40p cheaper than Sharp's Doom Bar, but fucking hell, that's awful. Uh, that's horrid. Oh no. Let's move on from that one. So let's compare it now. I'm gonna have to go in for some more and I to compare it with this. God help me. I'll tell you what, I hope the bloody this Doom Bar's better than that one. I don't think I can handle another pint of that. I'm certain I reviewed Doom Bar, and although I didn't think it was the best, there was nothing particularly nasty in there. Uh, the cat's coming in to say hello. Hello, Sammy. You're going to be on camera again? Yeah? Go on then. Sit there. Sit there, do your stuff. So, beer in a glass. This is the Doom Bar. Carbonation exactly the same. The head is pretty much identical, and the colour of the beer is identical. Uh, we've got about a finger a head on it. Creamy sort of looking head. I certainly haven't been whacked in the face by that horrible skunky smell. Cat, where you just where you going? Thank you. Haven't been whacked in the face by that skunky smell. So phew, I can now I got skunky beer and your fish breath. Thank you very much. Right, let's go in for a sniff of this. Yeah, and to be honest. Will you sit there, cat? Uh, there's none of that sort of skunkiness, but there's not a lot else going on. It's sort of got a warm, malty kind of ale feel to it. That's about it. So let's go in. Let's, let's give them both a sniff. Yeah. I mean, now there's not an awful lot going on in the in the Hatherwood one. You still get that little bit, when you swill it, you still get that little bit of co uh, caramel in there. The skunkiness has gone. But, in all honesty, you, it's... Although this is less exciting on the nose, it still kind of smells better than this one. So let's go in and have a taste. Will you sit down? Get your ass off me, but... You're being a pain in the backside today. Right, let's go in on the Doom Bar because I've done all that stuff with that one. Oh, no contest, no contest. But what I will say is the actual Doom Bar, now that does feel like it's got a watery, a watery sort of taste to it. Let's go in again. Oh, that is fucking vile. That is horrible. Right, Doom Bar. It's, oh, fucking hell, that's awful. That is absolutely fucking disgusting. Do you know what? I'm not even going to compare the two. Right? In other words, Shark Bay is absolutely disgusting. Absolutely minging. Doom Bar, just from one mouthful. It feels heavier in body. It's less carbonated. It's malty. It's not very bitter. It's, it's more on the sweet side, but there's not a massive sweetness in it. There's not much going on in there with flavour. 
I mean, this one, you do get that little bit of caramel, but my God, it leaves the most vile aftertaste you can ever taste, I think. That is possibly, that is possibly one of the worst beers I've ever drunk. That is absolutely disgusting on the back end. And Doom Bar, as poor as everyone thinks it is, Yeah, it's maybe a little bit watery. It's maybe a bit bland. It's definitely bland and it's definitely watery actually. Uh, there's not a lot going on. It drinks quite easy. It is quite smooth to be fair. But what it doesn't have is that nasty, shitty, horrible taste that this one, this Shark Bay leaves. And straight away, that makes Doombar the winner. So, right, there's no way I'm drinking that shit. That's fucking awful. Right, Shark Bay, Lidl, their own branded Amber Ale, their version of Doombar is absolutely shocking. I wouldn't touch it with a barge pole. Not again, anyway. Compared to Doombar, Doombar beats it hands down. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you see that in Lidl, stay well away from it. Maybe I've just had a really bad bottle, but absolutely disgusting. I won't be finishing it. I'll be drinking uh, the proper Doom Bar. That's, you know, palatable. You can get that down your neck. I hope you've enjoyed the review. £1.69 that in Lidl. 40p difference, worth every penny just because the fact that you can finish it. Well, there's my views on this beer. Uh, let me know if you've had the Shark Bay, let me know what you think about it. I think that's dreadful, absolutely dreadful. Uh, don't bother picking it up, I think it's crap. Thank you all for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Sorry I've waffled on for a while. Have a good Monday night and I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers.